What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to basically tell you how to fix every kind of crashing, freezing or lagging issue in Formula 1 Manager 2022. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you'll probably know what to do in order to fix this issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want to you guys know, let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right onto my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be a big support for me guys. You would support my work here on YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that and I would just say let's get right started. So as the first step I want or I would recommend doing for everybody is gonna be uh, to open up your task manager by using the shortcut or navigating down to your taskbar, right clicking it and opening up your task manager. So what I want you to do next is gonna be to uh, basically navigate to the top left corner of your screen that you're ensuring that you're sticking around processes. As the next step is, I know it's gonna sound a little bit weird, but just trust me guys, I want you to end every single task, which has nothing to do with Windows, obviously, and I'm gonna explain it to you why. So first of all, there are two questions, uh, two reasons for that. So it's the first one, um, especially on low-end PCs or bad PCs, running too many processes or programs at the same time could cause crashing or freezing or lagging uh, because your PC can't handle that. Or the other way or the other reason that was it for me, um, that there are some applications or processes, don't ask me why, which are third partying your main game, causing it to crash or to freeze in some way. And uh, you can avoid this problem by just ending every single task. So once you did that, I want you to um, also end the task manager again. And as the next step, you're gonna search an empty spot right onto your desktop. You're gonna right click it and click onto display settings. So once your display settings pop up, I want you to uh, stick around display and identify uh, what your main monitor is, obviously just this just applies if you have more than one monitor. Once you identify that, you're gonna scroll down and stick around scale and layout. We want you to change the size of text apps and other items to 100% as recommended. And the display resolution should be the same as in-game. So for example, if you have in-game like 1720 by 1070, you're gonna also apply this to your display resolution. Once you've finished here, you should be able to end this task and navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen where you're gonna open up your settings, navigating right onto update and security and sticking around Windows Update. I know guys, this is gonna sound a little basic, but trust me, updating your drivers will solve like 99% of your problems on your PC and also crashing or freezing issues. So download the latest version of Windows. This will help you a lot and will provide the best possible performance for your PC. So download the latest version and once you did that, you're gonna uh, close this tab and do the same thing for your graphics card. So download the latest version of a graphics card doesn't really matter if you have AMD or Nvidia, just hit the browser, hit the application and download it and provide the best possible performance in general for your PC and your game. So guys, that's it for the video. I hope I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. I'm gonna really be thankful for that. And I'm sorry if I couldn't help you guys, but I'm just gonna do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.